And on our return, we'll be sampling a taste of paradise with Carol, who chose Warren on last week's show. <laughs> Stand by. Here is your blind date for this evening. You chose number three. That was Warren from Leeds. Come in, Warren. Welcome back. Well, what a destination for a romantic blind date, Paradise Island. I think we'd better see how Carol and Warren both got on. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the Holiday Inn Sunspray Resort on Paradise Island. Oh, Sorry yes. about the weather. This is not known as rain here, but liquid sunshine in the Bahamas. <laughs> Can you follow me right this way, please? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Oh, whiny, whiny, baby, the Bahamas, eh? Look, look at those oh, fishes. Oh, look at the fish. The stingrays, look at so many of them. There's a great white shark there. Where? <laughs> My goodness, look at the size of that. What? <laughs> oh, I thought talking about something else, love. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be out later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So, I think we better go. I've got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> oh, oh, Carol, I didn't realise you were so good. <laughs> you're not much before. You're a natural, Carol. Oh, thank you, love. <laughs> Oh. Oh, there's a little one. Oh. Thank you. My goodness, took the stick off. Any more? <laughs> Last one. Oh, Going. Oh, well, Gone. Oh, gosh, it's coming! Just oh. ah! like a little bit. See, it's smaller one there. Come oh, on. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Oh, it's so smart. Warren came back down to earth after Paradise Island. How did they feel about each other? Was it heaven or hell? <laughs> Let's find out. When the screen went back, when I first saw Warren, I thought, cool, get a load of that muscles, and he was showing bare flesh. I thought, yes, we're definitely going to have a great time in the Bahamas. Come to Mama. When the screen went back and I saw Carol for the first time, I thought, wow. I'm definitely going to have my hands full here. She had a huge personality and I thought, yeah, we're going to have some fun on this date. When we arrived at Paradise Island, Warren gave me a romantic card saying how special I was and I thought, yes, there's definitely going to be some loving on this date. When we got to Paradise Island, I was too scared to tell Carol that I didn't fancy her. So I gave her a friendship card, you know, to let her know I appreciated her. But I think she took it the wrong way because she just kept on grabbing me. On our first night, I went in for the kill. I kiss Warren and, oh, my days, he froze like a rabbit. I thought, what's going on? Haven't you never been kissed by a real woman before? That night, Carol started kissing my neck, so I told her I felt uncomfortable with it. She had hungry eyes and I could tell her I was on the menu. I wasn't ready to be swallowed whole. The next day, Warren was giving me mixed messages. One minute he was all over me, and the next he was running scared. I thought, nah, hit the curb, honey. I'm gonna find myself a real man. The next day, Carol completely changed into a spoiled child having a tantrum. She ignored me and was a right stroppy madam. She obviously isn't used to hearing the word no. At dinner that night, I decided to confront Warren because he had been flirting with me from the start and he wasn't up for any action. I thought, what's your problem? Ain't women your thing? At dinner, Carol and I had a huge argument when she implied that I wasn't interested in women. I was really offended and thought, I am all man, I do fancy women, I just don't fancy you. At the bar, I was being chatted up by two sexy beefcakes and Warren just wouldn't leave me alone. He came over and rudely interrupted and I thought, no, that's it. You're cramping my style, honey. Although I was still annoyed with Carol, I decided to try and clear the air but she was too busy chatting up her new victims. So I left her to it and went coming by myself. <laughs> oh, fellas. I came on blind date to find myself a real man, someone who likes a voluptuous woman. But unfortunately, I got Warren, who is only interested in himself and not any woman, if you know what I mean. Carol came on blind date to find a man she could push around. But when she realised there was no pushover, she became a vindictive, vicious vulture. <laughs> Believe me, she's one scary mama. Warren is an attention-seeking, body-loving little weasel. The only way I would see Warren again is if he was served up on my plate for dinner. But then again, not enough meat. Carol is a man-eating monster with absolutely no manners whatsoever. I'm just grateful she didn't get the chance to sink her teeth into me. So watch out, lads. Carol's still at large. <laughs> well, I 
gather you both never got on then. Well, that was funny, Silla, because, you know, Carol was completely interested, you know, and I thought she was a beautiful person at the beginning because we got on fine, yeah? Um, I, you know, I, tra I thought she needed some attention, you know, I treat her like no, a lady. Silla, I'm, a I'm, I'm a techno, let me he finish, goes, let me he finish. He was too much, too much over the top. He was touchy-feely along like the way. I'm like that with everyone, Silla. He gave me a kiss at the hotel before we got there, two a peck. days before. A peck. It was still a kiss. It wasn't a smooch, It Carol. was still a kiss. It was a good it was still a kiss. Peck. It was a peck. Held and that was my it, hand. you know? Get, look, look. You were scared, you were scared on the flight. <laughs> Read the, read the, the words. Card. Read the words on the card. You make a special difference. It's, yes, well, that's right. I thought you were special, but not in that oh, way. Which says how you've earned a permanent place in my because heart. Because I thought you were the nice person. So that was it. That you was don't it. give someone a card like that in the middle of the No, you don't, Warren. That's no, no, not, you know, French. You know, you, you can have about? a relationship with a man without having... <laughs> uh, you can, you can, you can have a relationship with a man or, and a woman without it be get, uh, getting intimate. It can be platonic. It can be a platonic relationship. If he said and from I thought, the start and that I thought she was no. a beautiful person, no. and we got on felt, uh, got on well, and we played cards, and we had a great time. And I'm tactile well, anyway. That's no, 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 no. I even carried a, I carried, you know, I carried a suitcase. Yeah. Uh, I took, you know, open doors for her. I got even got her a white friendship rose when she was being stroppy. But is it is it true that you're not quite man enough for her then? Well, this it really offended me. He was me, the so campsilla. No, I wasn't campsilla. Carrying camp on like Kenny Everett. Oh, in a full class of taste. It's not true, Silla. The thing well, is, any any man, any man next, any man right? next to Carol well, would look effeminate. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Feminine at all, right? Yes, I was, was, I was all man. It's just I didn't fancy you, and you could take that. Even people at the hotel were saying, "Is he for real?" No, no, no. He's no, not no. kind of feminine. He's no, not no, real. No, no. That wasn't the case. It's no, all lies. No. It's all lies, Silla. No. Tell you, it's give, really, it, it's give her a chance. Tell it's us not. if you were going to start about the limousine. What he was in the limousine, Silla. If you see him in front of the mirror. Oh, oh, I've got to look good. I've got to look good. I've got to look good in front of people. I've got to look good. No, 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 no. I Silla, this is what happened, right? Every morning you know, for breakfast, you know the... he was late. No, I wasn't late. You this came is what happened. Late. Carol never turned up for breakfast at all. She, you she went me down off by herself. She went back off. down by herself. That's my, stom ignorant. my stomach was turning. She was ignorant, ill mannered. <laughs> my you know, stomach was turning. I'll tell you, this is what happened, yeah? Carol bought me in Miami when we stopped in Miami. Carol bought me. Carol bought, bought me a little gift because she, we were getting on so well. Oh, and I returned, uh, Yeah, because we were getting on so well. But when I said no, and in a friendly way, I said, listen, no. Carol, I appreciate no. your companionship. He didn't. But I don't want no romance. She was as cold as ice. Silla, when, she we, got, all no, her manners, when we got to all the Bahamas, when we got to the Bahamas and we got in there, yeah. that's when he gave me the cards and the present. And so I thought, all right, then, when we got to the hotel, I went in for the kill, gave him a hug to say, oh, thanks very much, and kissed yeah. him. He froze. No, so no, no, Carol, that wasn't the man? sorry. Just, <laughs> Carol, 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 this is all Carol, just Carol, Carol, I don't want a romance. I am a tactile person. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm a friendly person. Yeah. And I, I thought she deserved some attention because I didn't want to put a dampener on the relationship. Yeah, but there was from, lots of men from, giving me attention. I don't need to have attention No, but that would be only because you couldn't get it from me. That's when you changed the mind. Are you going to see each other again? Ever, ever, honestly. Ladies and gentlemen, wish them both well. Our Carol and Warren. Thank you both so much. Why would I ever be attracted to you? Why would I ever be attracted to you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Why would I ever be attracted to you? Who are you? What makes you so special? Why would I ever be attracted to you? What makes you so special? Why would I ever be attracted to you? What makes you so special? Why would I ever be attracted to you? What makes you so special? What makes you so special? What makes you so special? No. I've got lots of men that like me. Lots of men that like me. You're not the only man on earth. You're not the only man on earth. Chill out. You're not the only man on earth. 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 You're not the only man on